Welcome back to Sword Coast Legends. Alright, I got Brynn in my party now. She's a ranger. I did most of the setting up last time, but... I would like to do some more. I think I want to take some gear off of, uh... Uh... Larathar and give it to her. I have to go back to world travel. Back to my adventurer's camp. Again. Try to do this as quick as I can. I already have all of her skills set. I wish I could just trade the gear between them here. I don't think I can. That would be cool though. Oh, but I can't talk to her and get some story bits from her. That's cool. I wonder if I might um bend your ear for a moment. Yeah, go ahead, Brent. While I was imprisoned by those Knights. I heard whispers of a succubus named Madeline. Oh, that's her name. The knights believed that she has appeared in Luskan and seeks a relic known as the Infernal Stone. Does this have anything to do with our quest? No, not directly. But I'm certain that if Madeleth finds the Infernal Stone, she'll track down the rangers that kept it from her for so long. Which means she'll come for me. And that makes her your problem, too. A band of rangers I lived among within the Ardeep Forest guarded the very same Infernal Stone. We roamed the forest, never staying still for long. And with our numbers, the relic was well protected. I became... close. With Carissa Windroot, the band's leader. She was smart, sleek, powerful. And she kept the stone around her neck at all times. Often, I begged her to bury it or to send it away. I... I feared for her safety. And now this Madeleth is looking for her. No. Madeleth found her long ago. The fiend seduced my friend, dominated her, and tore Carissa apart right in front of us. Only to learn that she had finally listened to me. Carissa must have hidden the Infernal Stone before her death, though she never told me where it was. I believe she would have wanted me to find it, to safeguard it, and she certainly wouldn't want it in the possession of that seductress. So how do we deal with a succubus? If we had a scroll of banishment, we could send her away easily and painlessly. Not that she deserves it. We'll just have to kill her. Sure, she'll just return to her home plane, but she won't find the process pleasant. I'd suggest we ask around in Luskan. The local merchants might know if there's been a sighting of such a valuable relic. When we discover who has the Infernal Stone, we take it before that vile Madeleth can wrap her claws around it. In the meantime, was there something else you need? Well, I do have a super high wisdom. And hence, really high willpower, so I could probably um, resist the seduction of a succubus. All right. Curious about me, are you? Well, that might just get you rewarded with a story. My brother Bellamy and I were born in a small village called Red Larch, just north of Waterdeep. Dreadful place, to be honest. But it was home. We sought adventure. Even as children. I remember one time when we embarked on a legendary quest to ambush an older boy who had bullied Bellamy. Poor, poor Bellamy. He was the one who suggested we leave Red Larch. My brother was never in danger of being too bright, but I loved him. And when he decided to leave our home, I happily went with him. Didn't your parents try to stop you? Of course they did. But between Bellamy's demands and my own pleadings, they saw fit to let us go. As long as we took care of each other. Not long after we left home, we were separated. By which I mean Bellamy wanted to go to Waterdeep and become a drunk, <laughs> while I wished to become a ranger and a scout. So he headed to town, and I disappeared into the Ardeep forest. And much to my complete lack of surprise, Bellamy was a success at being a drunk. And a total failure at anything else. It's rather sad to think of it now. Perhaps we could change the subject. Bellamy's a, a, 
An emotional topic for me. And I'm not an attractive crier. Is this anybody? Come back anytime. I'll be waiting. Ah, I wish I could change people's gear right here. Doesn't look like I can. I'm gonna have to put... Oh! Look at that! I do have those Mastiffs with me. Oh, that is awesome! And they have kids! Oh, but not what I named them. Amber, Onyx, Dave, and Gary. You're a mama. No wonder you're so fierce. One day, you and your brother are going to make a lot of people very happy. He looks up from you. He looks up to you from a protective stance. You're a dad now. Make sure they stay safe. Introduction to masonry, huh? Can't do anything with it. I can click on it, but that's all. Alright, I imagine I'll get more story bits from people when I um, get to Act 3. it is this way. Shopkeeper's outfit. Okay. Oh, maybe at some point I acquire a shopkeeper for my um, adventures camp. And maybe at some point I get a mason who will, like, build stuff. I don't know. Anytime. So let's bring both Larathar and Bryn, and then we can trade items. I wish I could do this without having to go to the adventures. It's probably a way. I should look it up. I'll jump on the forums after this episode and see if there's a way I can trade items without having to do this run around. Oh, I'm getting attacked again. Okay. Before I get attacked. Actually, I'll trade items after I slaughter these dumbasses. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother, um, with, uh, buffing up my party because. These guys are chumps. Let's trade some items. 
Okay. Uh, I'm not going to have her sneaking much, so I don't much care about that. Bowie we can keep this assassin's coat, though. Yeah, I'm taking this. Piercing damage, yes, she's going to be doing mostly piercing damage, so yes. I don't care about that. Cooldown reduction. Oh, definitely taking this hood. Bracers. Yes. All right, I think that's it. Now, what I'll do is let's see the assassin's coat. Well, she'll have one less armor class, but... Hmm. The bonus to perception, I think, is worth it. So she's going to be my uh, scout now. Also, the outfit looks freaking awesome. The hood is definitely better than what she's got now. Also, it fits the color scheme much better. Um, let's see. The red tiger boots. Um, the plus 25% movement speed is nice, but the plus 5 to piercing damage is awesome. Uh, let's see. Where are those gloves? There we go. Plus 1 to dexterity. It's going to suck losing that, but plus 3 to piercing damage. Definitely useful. But I'll make up for losing that plus 1 to dexterity with this ring. Uh, is that off? from these? I believe so. There we go. Band of Expertise. We'll replace the one that just gives a bonus to dexterity saves. Ah, oh, that puts her 23. Okay. Um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. But I gotta get um, Hamet back in the party. Ah, cool. Back to the adventurers camp. Let's see, do I get jumped again? No, I actually made it to the market district this time. Now just one more quick item swap and then I should be all set. He's got that dexterity ring that gives plus two dexterity. If I give him the plus one dexterity ring, that'll bring his dexterity to 14, and he'll still get the plus two. And then I give the plus two ring to her.
other questions do I have on the other crew? On the regeneration and the restoration question. Now let's sell some of this stuff off. Hmm. We got some, uh, well, no. Have you heard of an infernal stone? Hmm, the other day I heard some dock workers gossiping about an odd stone. Maybe check out the warehouse at the docks. Well, that was easy. So that opens up a new uh, section of town for me, hopefully. Alright, let's sell off some stuff. Crazy over encumbered. Well, once I sell off a bunch of armor, I think I might as well sell all of these. At least the green ones. Ah, even the red one, uh, the blue ones. I'm sure to get better stuff along the way. Damn good uh, morning star. Still selling it. And the shoe. And the other shoe. And this. Alright, cool. I'm nowhere near encumbered. Alright, so I probably have a new place to go. Although I should talk to some of these other merchants. There's a well right there. Hello. What do you got? Damn, that's a damn nice locket. I don't think I need it because she's already got a lot of perception. Maybe not lockpicking so much, but I did take some skills. So what is this? Oh. Gambler ring. Vulnerability piercing increases gold acquired. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Alright, let's 
Let's go to this blacksmith. I know there's a bow he can forge for me before I do anything. Let me save my game. And in case this bow, I think it's like 30,000 gold. In case that bow winds up being crap, then I could reload and be like, I don't want to waste my 30 grand. So you have parts for a dagger, but you're going to need a bit more. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. You have all the parts for the bow of Hungary. It's a devilish weapon. I could put it back together for you for only 30, 000, 30 freaking thousand. Do it. This better be one hell of a bow. Let's see it. Bow of Hungering. 2 to 10, plus 2 to hit and damage, 8% chance on hit to paralyze, 5% chance on hit to deal 4 to 18 necrotic damage, and heal the user for that amount. That is a pretty damn good bow. That is a damn good bow. Alright, that was worth the 30 grand. That was worth it. Alright, what else? Yes, I know. Dagger. Shield, but I don't have enough parts. The sun blade. Uh, what else? Very special boots. Yeah, that's cool. Sweet, I got me a badass bow. to the, um, I'm going the wrong direction. No, actually I'm not, I'm going the right direction. I still don't trust that Sorano guy. I'm totally convinced he's going to stab us in the back. And he's working with that Solar Rail or whatever the hell, however you pronounce that. Get the Assassins. Merchant. When my bartender came back, 15 pounds lighter and full of zest for life. I can't imagine you had anything to do with that. But in case you did, thank you. Thanks again for helping me out of that prison. That place reeked of something terrible. Yeah, I'm happy to help. I saw this metal wing glinting in the corner and I was as I was fleeing the prison. Seems fitting that you should have it. I only wish I could give you more. Heard any good rumors? Nothing concrete yet, but come back later. I'm gonna have something left for you. Alright. What did he give me? Snapped sword hill. Okay. Ah, there's Sora now. I don't trust you, man. Not just because you're an elf. Okay, it's partially because you're an elf. Ah, you're back. And I see you found your friend. Sorano, is it? Charmed. Likewise. I'm sure we have much to discuss, but for now it must wait. The Gilded Eye has launched an attack on Luskin's slums. And word is that they're looking for you. Why would they attack the slums? I overheard them saying there was evidence that strangers were buying occult materials there. Maybe they thought it was you. There's little time to waste. Without your help, there's no way the people of the slums will survive the battle between the Gilded Eye and the Demons of the Abyss. Wait. There's demons? 
That is what I said, is it not? This day just keeps getting better. They came looking for us and got demons. That won't be helping our case any. Quickly, there are lives at stake. <sighs> All right. Let's go kill some demons. Keeping my eye on you, Sorno. Anything new from Kalantha? Go to the docks yet? Luskin Warehouse. Oh, that's the warehouse on the docks, yes. But I suppose I should go to the slums first. Even though uh, I'm, I doubt there's anything actually time-sensitive in this game. Like, if I don't do this right away, there'll be more dead people. But let's do it. Let's go kill some Gilded Eye and some demons. I mean, I just returned from killing some Gilded Eye and some demons, so might as well keep going. Oh, I didn't kill that many demons, just that... Oh. And I got attacked on the way. Look at that. Good times. Alright. There's fighting down there, too. Well, shit, those... They can... Whatever. They can kill each other off, y'all. Well, I feel bad for the Luskin Guard, but, you know. Can't really get down there. I suppose I could have her shoot some arrows. What else am I fighting? Get on this rock. Looking good. Traces of reverence. Plus three to all radiant damage though. Not bad. Can I can I shoot down there? No. Wow, damn. It wasn't bad enough living in the slums before, it's... Well... Wow, damn. They got wrecked. Gilded Eye Knight. Yeah, 
got no escape for you, Bubba. on a rampage. I got double wolves. What's better than a wolf companion? Two wolf companions. This is the only I get at once. Wow, there's quite a few of them. of the demon. Plus one critical range, plus one dexterity. Pretty good. Potion of healing. Potions of healing are always nice. Although I might stop using improved pretty soon and just go with the superior and up. Because my hit point range is getting that high. Some halberd. Jewelry. long does the companion last? Basically forever. Okay. Until it's killed. That's cool. I don't have to keep resummoning it like, like uh, summons. Let's do this.
Pero... In the name of Helm, and by order of High Commander Javen Tarmikos, we shall end this once and for all. You're too late, Knight. My friends have arrived, and the summoning is complete. Now the Burning Dawn will take the role their founders set for them. You will play your part in the Ascension. By the gods, that explains the nightmares. What do we do? You will be the banquet that nourishes Belafoss. He is the incinerator of faith, the herald of madness. First among the legions of the gaping moor. But now is not the time. We have much to prepare. Allow me to show you but a shadow of what's to come. Belafoss, project your hatred. Let this city bear witness to your power! <laughs> it's one of the two brothers, huh? Well done! Shadow of Madness, Cultists... These guys are dead. Alright. Yeah, boss! Uh, so, weapon. Let's see, I already have the wolf summoned. Let's summon another creature. You're right. Summon the hammer. There's Sorano. He's at least on my side still. Okay. Maybe he's not. I'm still not convinced. Not sore no, but keep an eye on him. Fireball's probably not gonna hurt the um that guy. But it might hurt these cultists. I'm gonna Hunter's Mark. Actually not yet. I probably can't hurt him until I kill the cultists. I'm thinking that's how this is going to work. I got to yes. kill the cultists first. Hurting him some. Maybe I can help. Wow, this dude's all types of immune right now. Alright, shoot a different cultist. I'm barely scratching him though. He's immune to everything. Let's do this. Ah, uh, she's she's on a rampage still, okay. down. Alright, 
that guy's almost down. Just as I expected, the demon became a lot easier to kill once I got rid of the cultists. Drow's got on. I spit on you, weak minions of the burning dawn. I die in service to one who is greater. Why were you left behind? I had served my role. I lit the spark that would lead to the master's ascension. You have some power, I assume, but Tassilus Trafir brooks no challenges from within. He left you outside the spell to be food for the shade of Belafoss. What do you know of the Master? I see through your mask, Nate Betrayer. What will these surfacers do when they see your true skin? Oh, I like where this is going. It matters not. No matter what you do, you will fail. Where has Tassilis gone? You wish to follow, name betrayer? Then heed. They traveled to the Duergar city of Blades, where lies the Tear of the Moon, the final the Underdark. to the Master's ascension. I had a feeling Tassilis might seek the Moon Tear, and now we know where to find it. How do you know any of this? I know little, but I theorized much. And the threads are coming together, forming a tapestry of loss and fear. I will gladly tell you what I know, but not here. This is hardly the place for more lengthy exposition. He's Let us to our room at the Cutlass. There all will be laid bare for you, and you may decide then how to proceed. Sor knows a drow is in. And he is but a, using an illusion to appear as a um, high elf. We are all here. Good. What is to come will be painful for us all. But it must be done. The drow called you name betrayer. What is that supposed to mean? I wear this mask for convenience's sake. Life here is simpler in another skin, one that affords me easier passage in a city that disdains my kind. Spit it out already! We've no time for this! Very well. You know me as Sorinel Noonshadow, Moon Elf Diviner, and I'd come to hope your loyal friend. 
Now allow me to finally show you the truth. Dramatic close-up. I am Dalinir Trefir, exiled from Menzo Berenzan, and brother to Tassilis Trefir, the drow whose minions set Luskan ablaze. No, I will not accept this. Lady. So you're a drow. Not a big deal. I'm glad you see it that way. Betrayer! I told you of my past. My captivity among the drow. My family murdered at their vile hands. And through all this, you... Let me believe you were my friend. I will not apologize for being who I am. I am here to help stop Tassilis and recover the Moon Tear. These things have not and will not change. We have a job to do. Until then, no more lies. Got it? You have my word. Now, we have much to do. The dying drow said that Tassilis was moving toward the Duergard City of Blades. Gracklesty. Yes. The last I had heard, the drow of Menzo Berenzan held the moon here. If the Duergard have it now, then it will be under heavy guard. Tell me everything you know about the moon here. I have collected rumors and tales. I know that it was once a relic of Sehenine Moonbow, but it fell into the hands of the drow, who corrupted it to the service of Lolf, the Spider Queen. So we can't use it to cure our nightmares. I believe it still possesses a spark of Sehenine's divine power. If Belafos wants it for his ascension, then it's possible it can still cure you of your affliction. If it exists, it can be saved. I have faith. Despite the drow's lies. So we're going into the Underdark. That sounds like a bad idea. You got anything better? Um, stay here? Just a thought. Crap, I haven't finished his quest yet. I wonder if I'll be able to go back to the surface. We'll have to find a way into the Underdark, which is no mean feat on its own. There is a portal, deep within an abandoned keep in the Evermores. If we can find it, we can use it to travel then. How do you know of this portal? When I escaped from the drow, a friend told me of three exits to the surface. The portal in the Evermores was one of them. And you sure it truly exists? Not all of my friends lie to me as a rule. It may have since been closed, but I believe that as of ten years ago, it existed. I assume it's guarded. I've heard myths, legends, but nothing conclusive. Every old keep has its ghost stories, but I will retrieve the moon tear from the Duergar, and I will face any obstacle to do it. All right. I would be honored to join you, if you will still have me. It is my brother you hunt, and I would relish a chance to watch his twisted life come to an end. It's not my choice. But do not expect me to be cordial, Trickster. You stay or go by another's whim. Prepare for travel, my friends. We leave soon for the Evermores. Hmm. So I have Sorano now, huh? Or Dalanir. He's a wizard. I also have Hobbit, who's a wizard. So how is he different? Um, I probably won't keep him in my party, but I just want to check him out. Okay, I have four points to spend. So, Kane. Deception. Okay, so he's a diviner. Lightning, flame, manipulator, just like a uh, transmuter, summoner. All right, so the difference is he has deception and Hamid has necromancy. Yeah, quite honestly, I'd rather have Hamid. 
All right, cool. Then I don't have to immediately go there. I can go and finish Hamid's quest and do all that. Probably the next thing I'll do is go to the adventurer's camp, talk to Sorno for a while. Uh, maybe he has a personal quest to do and whatever. And then we'll go and we'll go to the tomb of the Ashen Priest and do um, Hamid's personal quest. But... So until then, I'm going to leave off here.